it, it's amazing uh, to see how we get discovered. Right. And how I got back in the entertainment field by just trying to brand my tutoring and consulting company by starting a talk show on a college radio station wow. where it comes now, I'm talking about fashion, I'm talking to actors, I'm talking to all these different people and saying, wow, I should never have left the wrestling business. Wow. But I found something that I'm even better than because right. you guys are the stars. I'm here just to listen and learn from you. So specifically enough, once you got your big soap deal, mm -hmm. that changed everything in life. Yes, that was uh, uh, my very first break. I went in for, I did small roles after after the Miller Beer commercial. I did small roles with Angela Lasbury, Murder, She Wrote, and uh, Ned and Stacy with... Uh, with, with it was at the time it was a very uh, famous sitcom, and then uh, you know when uh, with uh, Kirstie Alley to do a beautiful movie called Suddenly, and then you know the big break came with These Are Our Lives and uh, Friend Bascom, which is I'm very loyal to her and she's always in my heart, and um, she discovered me basically. She uh, auditioned me for this uh, attorney role, right. and I my English again wasn't the best right, exactly. at that time, so I went in to do this very hard. Audition, very difficult audition because you know I have to like, uh, you know the the script was all about like uh, laws and you right, know, right, like, exactly. You know, it's, it's, it's the guy is an attorney, he's a lawyer. So I did good, and uh, she saw something in me, and uh, she brought me back, and I got a three years contract with uh, NBC Columbia. So playing one of the uh, you know the most hated villain at that time, Franco Kelly. See, I was never a soap opera fan, so I can't, I'm not right. going to admit I ever was a soap opera fan. Mm -hmm. And what years were those? Those was like uh, from 95 to 98. Okay. So basically, as I was looking at your background, mm -hmm. then a feature film that was pretty – one of your big roles was mm – -hmm. uh, recently, recently, yeah, recently, like I just uh, finished um, uh, A Secret Promise, co-starring Ioni Sky, Talia Shire, and Ron Silver. And uh, bless his soul because he passed away oh. right after the movie. And uh, that's, I'm very proud of that movie because this movie, I should say, because it's current. Uh, and because it's my first lead in, a, in an American uh, feature. And that's what you're trying to promote right now. Yes. I'm promoting this. You can find it on iTunes, you know, like YouTube uh, 2.0, Amazon. It sells everywhere. It's, it's on video demand, PlayStation 3. Um, and uh, it's a romantic comedy. Uh, and uh, I'm... You know, just the memories that that movie brings back is like, uh, it's amazing. So tell me a little bit about your role. Sure. Uh, I play Ferro Livetti, which is like a billionaire. Uh, I'm, don't relate to that. <laughs> don't, don't look at me like that. You know, it's like, hey, can I borrow no, no, I'm I'm some money gonna, right now? Okay. Right, right. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, a billionaire that... Uh, you know, enjoys the perks of life because, you know, he, he can afford anything. So he goes out with models, he buys, he changes cars like every day, right, like, right. you know, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Vipers. And um, so he's living the life. And, but there is one thing that is missing. It's like true love. And, exactly. and so like uh, when his father is about to die, his father uh, tells Pharaoh, like, hey, you have to like, you, you have to get away from all this wealth. For 30 days, you promise me if I die... That sounds almost like Brewster's Millions. You ever right. see that movie? No, I haven't. You never but saw they, that? They, you got to go they, back to that they, one. They, they, I know that you're... Yeah, they told they, me that, yeah. yeah. And uh, and so I, I, you know, my character doesn't understand why his father wants him, uh, you know, like away for 30 days, away from everything, from his identity, his credit cards, his money, his name, everything. So his father dies. He moves to New York for 30 days. He, you know, he, he, he's, he's, the fairy is a loyal guy. He's Italian. He's right. very loyal. So right. he says, okay, I'm going to fulfill this promise, and I'm not going to bre break the promise. He moves to New York for 30 days, and, uh, and that's where he meet, you know, Ioni Sky's character. Okay. And it's, it's uh, I, I don't want to spoil it. No, you're not. You know, so you know, I, I interview but, authors all the time. Right, I don't ever give away anything. No, I don't give away. It's so, a romantic comedy. And yeah, yeah, so everyone got to check it out. And, right, and, right. And see Victor and...